Where am I? What's this painting? Right, I'm at Joseph's. Mm. What a night. Quite a celebration. Happy birthday, my friend. <laughs> Though, one drink too many. Mm. I'll check with Joseph and then I'm off to work. Everyone? Ah, my poor head. Ah. Yeah, so this game, I played a demo and uh, I hopes for it. Close. Oh, right. Now, where did I put the key? Here it is. That's odd. I've been many times at Joseph's, but I've never seen this corridor before. The photographs seem very familiar, though. What's that? This room is bizarre. What's with this furniture? Like a post game do. Um I I think I don't know what to expect because the demo was uh, very short. Um <sighs> if I don't go out soon, I'll be late for work. Let's try this way. Another letter? Up was our sound what Hole? How on earth do I fit in here? These aren't the legs I'm used to. I know this sounds ludicrous, but can it be that I'm a bug? All right, stay calm. Let's find Joseph and move on from there. Yeah, Mike playing a different game. I told you yesterday. to fall from this high up. Oh, I can jump. Hi. Bruh. This game. What a clutter. I think there is something on the table. Another letter? 
Yeah, Loki, it's a sick game. I played the demo and I played it like twice. It's only up to that point where you reach the table, but that was it. I feel like I need to get up for. That's quite deadly. Um, if you don't know what this is. Oh no, I finished the demo twice. It only came out today, actually, the game itself. Um, but Franz Kafka and the book's name is Metamorphosis as well. That's where they took the story from. It's uh, a very weird book. They had us read that at school, I didn't understand shit. Almost. You don't know, you can Google it, bro. <laughs> Made it. Sticky, oh. It's based on a book from like... 19th century, I think? Yeah, the demo pretty much ended here. Dear Mr. Sam says, we realize in what a sorry state you currently find yourself in. We'd like to offer you an common work tower. In order to start to recruit. What in the... Not even the, as close as trippy as this game, man. This is weird. Yes, a 
job. All thanks to Tower. They have burnt that tower. Tower is a modern office space offering honest, highly paid work to people turned into bugs. At Tower, you'll set up specialist skills. Acquaint yourself with amicable arthropod associates. Obtain opp- We're just gonna try to- Opportunities for occupational augmentation. And discover a different destiny for yourself. For the best employees, restoration back to human form. Not sure if this is glass shards. Uh, maybe it's. Uh, I don't know what the hell is going. On. It's a very pretty game. Um, I think they're only an indie studio. I'm not. looking. I'm actually impressed. Fire. Called? Uh, yes, Anna should bring my breakfast. I'm afraid that won't be possible. What do you mean, not possible? Preposterous, unprecedented, this is unheard of. And who then are you exactly? Were you expecting someone? On the contrary. I demand to know who you are. And is there someone behind the door? You seem excited. For sure I am. Does Miss Grubach know about this incident? I can't imagine this is acceptable for her. And who is in Frau Burstner's room? Do you know Miss Burstner well? She is my neighbor, of course I know her. I don't see how it's any of your concern. Just curious. How well? Uh, we are simply acquaintances. But why does that interest you? Has she done anything wrong? Why would she have done anything wrong? I have no idea. You tell me. Enough of this chicanery. Are you the police? Is Frau Burstner in some kind of trouble? 
Why would she be in trouble? I don't know. You come in. Ask about her. What makes you think it's about her? Well, it's certainly not about me. Now, is it? You are the police. Were you expecting the police? No. No, I wasn't expecting anybody, least of all you, whoever you are. I have to call Miss Grubach. Why do you need Miss Grubach? You just keep asking questions, don't you? Mm. Well, listen, you don't deny anything and you don't affirm anything. You just stand there and stare at me. What's your name and your function? Why do you need to know my name? Actually, you're right. I don't want to know your name. Why am I even speaking to you? Miss Gruber! What are these? Th she cannot come at this time. Oh, she can come at this time. It's her apartment after all. How long have you been living here? Long enough. But this situation is new. <laughs> Okay, so I have to get out of here. Hell are they? Oh! I'm dead. They kind of look like the models from, uh... Him. Dishonored. Very similar.
Goksara! Thanks for the follow, dude. Man, I'm already stuck. Has to be something to do with that, that thing. Break something here. Have to jump there. So that's that's it now. Yeah. How many hair comps is it I have? Happens by itself, Mr. K. Who's there? Let's see. Wouldn't you rather just stay here? I want neither to stay here nor to talk to you. I didn't mean anything wrong. Didn't France tell you to stay in your room? I demand to talk to Miss Grubach this instant. That won't be possible. What do you mean, not possible? I want to speak with my landlady. No, you can't leave. You are arrested. Oh. Yes, it sure looks that way. Somebody must have made a false accusation. I don't see any other explanation. I'll get my papers. Preposterous. Okay, I seem not to be able to find my wallet. It might have been stolen from me. That would be most unfortunate. Indeed. How about you investigate that while you're here? Mr. Kent, our sole job was to look after you until the arrival of our supervisor. On the other hand, you should really calm down. 
I'm a very calm man. I'm very glad to hear that, Mr. K. How can I be under arrest? And above all, in such a way? Do you think we know anything about the proceedings of your case? We hardly know one end of the identity document from the other. We are merely junior officials tasked with watching over you for the next few hours. That's all we are. But we understand that before making any arrest, the high authorities that we serve make sure they're well informed of the case and the accused. Tell me, then, for what crime am I supposed to be under arrest? We're not allowed to tell you anything more about your arrest. Proceedings are underway, and you'll be told everything, all in good time. I'm already breaking the rules being so polite with you. I hope that only Franz can hear this. He too is much more polite than he ought to be. Quite frankly, if your luck with the guards continues, you have nothing to fear, Mr. K. Tell me truthfully, what sort of people are you? To what authority do you belong? Is this not a country of law and order? Ah, oh, wait. I see. This must be all in jest. I bet I could laugh in your face right now, and it would turn out to be a joke. A birthday joke from my colleagues at the bank. <laughs> It's unthinkable. Is it some kind of mistake? If it's a joke, I'll sure be part of it. <laughs> I assure you, it's no joke, Mr. K. Nor can there be any question about there being a mistake. As far as I know, the judicial authorities don't search for guilt within society. Rather, it's guilt itself that attracts their attention. That's when we... The guardians of the law are sent out. That's the law. So where would there be any mistake? I don't know this law. All the worse for you, then. I think it's a law which is existing only in your heads. Yet you are to feel its long arm. You are making a big mistake. We're treating you politely, and you don't seem to appreciate the fact. Maybe you've forgotten, but unlike you, we are still free. And that is no small advantage. Take me to your supervisor as soon as he asks for it. Not before. In the meantime, don't trouble your head with matters of no importance. Stay focused. There are many more challenges ahead. Besides, do you think we'd let you see the supervisor dressed like this? He'd have you thrashed. And thus as well. Let me be, for heaven's sake. If you surprise me while I'm in bed in the morning, you can't expect me to be in my best suit. Since... You need to get changed to meet with the inspector, Mr. K. It is better to hand your personal belongings over to us. There is a lot of thieving from the storage room. Things tend to disappear and get sold after a time. And cases like yours, you know how long they can drag on. No, how long can they drag on? Cases like this. For a very long time, naturally. Um, of course, you'd get your cut from the sale. But it would only be a small sum. And its size is not determined by the size of the sale. But the size of the bribe one has to pay to get the transaction going. Sounds like you are the ones who want to bribe. God forbid! What are you suggesting, Mr. K? I'm not suggesting anything. I'm done speaking with you. A few words with someone on my level will make things incomparably clearer. 
than the longest conversation with you two. Right, so that's close now. How the hell are they ignoring? Have you killed? Um, maybe I'm a really small bug. Apple teeth, bro. This game looks. I'm like. Doked. This is fucking great. I'm like. Immersed in it. It's so well done. Even though I don't know what the fuck is going on. Still. Maybe it is a checkpoint.
Love the transition between like a dark, like a dark area, like dark moist area into like a warm, you know, like a bookshelf. It, it, it's it's so good. It's so well done. Colors used and everything. Loving the game, man. killer. Fox. 
Oops. Ah, inside Just I off. should have. Oh, where is it? Uh... Ha! A bicycle license. I guess by the seriousness of this affair, a bicycle license should be enough. Enough for what? For identification. These are my documents. Now show me yours. Uh, and the arrest warrant. Dear God in heaven, why can't you simply understand your position and stop irritating us with all these pointless questions? Shit. I won't say another <coughs> word and... Why am I here? What do you guys think about the game so far? I'm loving this. Wait, that's in the box. Okay, yeah. stoned from this I get stoned look the game isn't trippy enough I'm a bog books
Dude has a paper hut. Fuck.
Aircom spotted. Başka. Do that. Yeah, uh, you're, 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 you're
Get dizzy from this. Uh. Young man, why are you here? My name Joseph is Joseph K. I know who you are. You are a friend of Gregor's Hamsa. Oh, you know Gregor? Didn't he refer me to you? No. No, my uncle did. He's an old acquaintance of yours. Ah, yes, of course. So, is it about your trial? Yes, it is. <sighs> You've come as a very inappropriate moment. Uh, I was told to come now. I know, but you see, my desk is broken. Oh, uh, what do you mean? Inside, I have the letter <coughs> with all the cases. Without them, I cannot work. Well, can the desk be repaired? <laughs> Can't be. But for now, we must await. Mr. Hold, I would like to discuss my defense with you, but I don't even know the charges. <sighs> that is not important. <coughs> what is important is to submit the first set of documents to the court. <coughs> the first set? What are they? The defense doesn't have access to court records, especially not to the indictment. That means we generally don't know, or at least not precisely, what the first documents yes, need to be about. Anyway, usually the first submitted documents are mislaid or lost, and even if they do keep them right to the end, rumor says they are hardly ever read. This is all very regressible, but not entirely without its justifications. You should not forget, Mr. K, 
that there is no law that says the trial has to be public. You should not forget, Mr. K, that there is no law that says the trial has to be public. Is that even possible? What? To keep the trial secret from the accused. Oh, it's usually possible to a very large extent. This sounds completely absurd. So what exactly is your role? The most important thing is the lawyer's personal connections. That's where the real value of taking counsel lies. Contacts with higher officials. Or with high officials, but with lower grades. That is the only way to influence the progress of the trial. Hardly noticeable at first, it's true, but as it progresses, it becomes more and more visible. There are, of course, not many lawyers who can do this. So you have made a good choice by coming to me. Do you already have some paperwork? The law is tireless, and so are we, the defense. It should come to no surprise to you that we have an extensive network for relevant information. Your case is a very interesting one. Indeed, things like this don't come all of a sudden. They start developing a long time before. <laughs> there must have been warning signs of it. Could I see those documents? I'm afraid that is not possible at the moment. Not unless I know the date of your trial. It's in the ledger, which is currently blocked in my desk. I must see them. What is the legal basis for this? I guess my desk broke due to the laws of physics. I don't mean your broken desk. I mean the ledger, the trial date, and you showing me the documents. I just wouldn't know where to search for them. Besides, something said in private cannot be used in public. Therefore, you seeing those documents will not help your case. I would say it might even hinder the proceedings. Mr. Hull, I insist. Your trial is still in its infancy. You would get the wrong impression after reading them. They are destined for me, not for you. <laughs> Trials run their course all by themselves. All they really need is a nudge from time to time. After reading the papers, you could get the wrong idea and start acting erratically. This would, for sure, complicate the case. This obviously is a very stupid system. How can one defend himself if he doesn't know what he stands accused of? It's far from being the lawyer's job to introduce any improvements in the court system or even to think about it. It's far from being the lawyer's job to introduce any improvements in the court system or even to think about it. Many of them spend time on the matter, time that could be spent far better elsewhere. The only right thing to do is to learn how to deal with the situation as it is. Any other approach is simply superstitious nonsense and might do incalculable harm. Not to mention attract the special attention of the officials. Never attract attention to yourself. Mr. Hull, I would like to discuss my defense with you, but I don't even know the charges. That is not important. What is important is to submit the first set of documents to the court. The first set? What are they? The defense doesn't have access to court records, especially not to the indictment. That means we generally don't know, or at least not precisely, what...
Alright, I will end this here for now. I'm gonna move on to Hunt. Um, continue. Tomorrow.